Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have another PBL video for you guys. So today we're going to show you guys our games versus Nova. Now obviously no spoilers, I'm not going to say who won, but going into this we were 3-0. We were the number one team in the league. Uh, looking pretty good facing Nova. Nova did eliminate us at DreamHack, well at least part of Nova and that part of Nova. Two out of the three players that we faced at DreamHack are going to be facing us today, the other one being Shadow Jitsu. Uh, all three of them are really solid players. Now, I'm going to hop into these games, and before I do so, uh, I just want to give Nova a quick shout-out, because they've been practicing a ton. Um, they were kind of, not really like the lower tier, but of all the com like the super competitive teams, they always didn't really place that well. Um, they weren't doing well, but like credits to them, they've been, they've been grinding. They've seriously been practicing uh, more than, way more, triple as much at least as any other team. And the results are clearly being shown as of late. So let's hop into these games. Let's show you guys who won. And let's see if we can remain undefeated. So hopping into our first game, we're going to be playing on Chill Cave. Now you guys know there are bans in uh, in these games. I'm pretty sure the bans for this one were Barley and Rosa, I think. I'm not too sure. But anyways, we're going to run Mirror Comps. Uh, it's going to be Gene, Carl, and, uh, and Nita. Obviously, with me on Gene, I'm super confident I could beat anyone on Gene. And we got Jack on uh, Jack on uh, the Nita. You guys know how strong Jack is on Nita. Anyways, right now we're kind of just chipping away. I kind of understand the fact that Mateus is a super just because of the fact he's playing super, super passive. I'm um, able to obtain my super over there. You can see me and Feli uh, were able to pinch him at uh, Corey at the start. So Mateus is going to pull me, and he's actually not going to be able to kill me at the start. I got a really good juke actually on it, but I wasn't able to uh, fully juke and get out of the way. Now Corai is going to waste his heals. Now... I call him Korai just because, you know, we have Coach Cory and then we have him. So if you guys get annoyed by the name, I'm sorry. Shadow's going to push on to me a little, so I'm just going to retreat and go back. They have five gems right now in comparison to R2. Now, I just kind of did like a YOLO super into there. I knew Shadow was like somewhere in there and it could have been, it was like a 50-50. But you know me, I always just spring that super. I let it go instead of just holding it and waiting because I'm just going to get it back. So we can see Mateus is super. I'm going to take out the uh, the bear just because Jack is one shot and he should be healing up. So you can see Mateus is his pull. It's looking really good for them. 7-4. Feli's been doing a good job at getting lanes. Yeah, I don't think he's died yet all game. Uh, telling Feli that we're going to pitch Korai right now. So you can see Mateus is a super. You can see now Jack does actually a really good job because uh, Jean is horrible against Anita. So you can see the position gain just because of that bear that Jack threw down. Uh, Shadow's a really easy pull for me. He's like four tiles away. That's a quick two. So you can see Mateus is still saving his super, and you can see Jack just pushing it back. If I was Mateus, I I just let it rip. Like, it, it's not, it's really not good to hold your super. But with that being said, Matt did play well throughout the series, so creds to him. Uh, you can see I'm moving up over there. I was about to spring my super. Good play by Matt to go out of the area. Uh, really good play over there by Feli uh, to get Korai really really low. We should, I think we get him here. Yeah, I'm able to get him. I knew Mateus was going to go for that pull, so I kind of just backed off over there. You can see Jack on Shadow, and really obvious, like, just he was going to move back, and he had no other direction to go, so I was able to pull Mateus really easily. Uh, Corey's just coming down, doing his thing. The bear is up there. I'm pretty sure I pulled Korai. Yeah, I pulled Korai as well. Kind of an unneeded pull, but we got those extra gems, so. Well, like, it was needed, but it, it wasn't really that important as pulling Mateus. You can see Jack's doing a really good job over there, just keeping them up there. I'm just staying near Mateus because his pull is the only thing that could affect us. Uh, we're just going to pull each other. Nothing not like anything really of that mattered. And that is going to be it. We're going to be up 1-0 on them so far. I was able to get star player. Next map is Kaboom. Or is it Kaboom? No, sorry. It's Bridge Too Far, one of my personal favorite maps. Let's hop into it and let's see if we can go up 2-0. Now here we go. We're going to hop into this game. This is one of my personal favorite maps just because the brawlers that I love to play, like Pam, Brock, Carl, Colt, they're all meta here. So, and it's like a 1v1 type thing, so it's just about winning your lane for the most part. So you can see me and Mateus are going to go off again, uh, Brock on Brock. We were both Gene earlier, and now we're just going to get into that Brock 1v1. So I tapped him once, which is going to back him up. He's doing a good job at keeping me back. I'm going to be able to hit him again, and Feli's going to be on Corio right here. Feli was able to get the kill, but he's also going to go down to Mateus, who had a good pinch on him. Now Matt's just back in the middle. I was able to tap him twice again. I'm just going to move to this left side, and so I can help out Jack, I'm just going to break the wall while killing Mateus. So it's a, it's a pretty strong start for us right now. I probably should be help, shooting the safe a little bit more instead of focusing on Feli. But I gave my focus to the left side, and Korai was also able to get that kill. I almost hit Korai, kind of just randomly shot it into the bushes. And you can see Shadow's also going down. So at this point, if I go to the middle, there's a really easy path for Mateus to hit me. 
So I'm just kind of going healing down on the right side. I don't want to let them have too big of a push. So I'm going to see if I can help Jack over here. I was able to hit Shadow a couple times, so he's going to back up. Again, I can't really go through that middle because Mateus is just going to be able to super easily hit me. Uh, I'm just kind of hiding behind that box trying to help Feli out with his lane. Feli uh, has been a little bit low basically throughout the game. He's able to hit Matt a couple times, able to hit Shadow, but then Korai. I wasn't aware he was coming down and looping, so he was able to get me over there. Then you can see, you know, it's just a lot of a, of a mess. Feli was able to get a kill, I was able to get a kill, but it's super important that we're running the Pam battle. It's just not happening yet at this moment, so we're just focusing there a lot. I'm going to get my super off on the safe and hit like a shot on Mateus, I'm pretty sure. As well as a shot on Korai. So at this point, things are looking good, but Feli's got to get back to his lane. He's going to be tapped by uh, once by Mateus. He was able to get Cory, but I'm pretty sure this part was a little bit... No, 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 that part was good. Okay, this, sorry, it's the next part. I, it was 22 hours ago. I kind of forgot what happened uh, in like second by second. But anyways, right here, it's it's kind of anyone's game. You know, they have the lead. And it's hard to do damage on this map, but at the same time, you know, we have the possession. And this is the breaking point right here. Cory is able to get the kill on Feli. And the momentum we had, the fact that we were pushed back, they're now able to push us back. Um... That's basically going to be it. There's not much we can do. I'm taking out Mateus over there. But they're just going to walk forward. Jack's kind of going AFK a little bit right now. I don't really know what's happening with Jack. And that is going to be the game. So GG's to them. Um, again, I thought I played pretty well. I don't think I went down this game once. Oh no, sorry. I did to Korai when he pinched into the middle. But again, I feel like I held my lane this game. And I did decent. Not throwing any shade towards anyone. I just think we just got outplayed. Not on 1v1 lanes, but just by pinches and good defense by them and capitalizing when they're on the offense. So it's going to be 1-1 one -one right now. Let's hop into that third game and let's see what happens. Now this third game was definitely a mess. Uh, we had a game before this where we actually had a draw. We ran Poco, Pam, and Carl. Um, Patchy isn't in voice chat. We, we wait, it, there was like a 10 minute wait for Patchy to get into voice chat just so his computer wouldn't work. So. We were unable to communicate with them. So the, the point of him going BB was to put a, a lot of offensive pressure on them. Kind of just run around and be aggro. And that's what he's kind of doing over here. I think I should have gone BB now that I think about it. Just because I think Patchy isn't... He hasn't practiced enough BB yet. BB I've been kind of practicing here and there. So I think I perhaps should have. But anyways, you can see Patchy putting on some pressure. But he's kind of in no man's land right now. Just chilling in the middle. We're getting pushed back a lot right now. Um, I'm able to hit Shadow and the uh, and the turret at the same time. But again, I can't do much. I'm going to go down to Korai over there. Patchy's able to make the save. And at this point, he's holding the ball. And this was weird because I was just telling him to pass it up. But he did make a really excellent play. He was able to kill both of them. And he lined up his super to, uh, to just affect Mateus big time. I don't think I would have used his super over there. But anyways, he did. It worked out. We're able to get the pinch on Matt. And at this point, we're telling Jake to bring up the ball, but unfortunately he doesn't, so we can't get any offensive pressure. I don't really know why he went past the ball. Um, so you have Mateus coming back over here. Obviously, Carl does have a decent advantage when you can get into the, the distance that Spike has. I just got to get close enough. So you can see Mateus is like kind of half health, but he does have that turret, so it's super hard for me to get that kill. Patchy's going to miss a bunch over here, and he's going to go down. I was able to get Korai. And again, they're just having this offensive pressure. Again, we're not able to do much. Shadow's just going to walk in. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's going to be able to score like a last second type of goal. So really good shot over there by Shadow. 50 seconds left right now. And you can see Mateus is doing a really good job on his lane. I decided to get a lot more aggro just because I thought Patchy was going to be the aggro. But he was kind of not doing too great this game. So I was able to get Matt. But I am going to tie in that encounter. Uh, really good play over there by Korai. Just get the ball out of there. If not, it probably would have been a goal. So you can see Patchy's going to pick up the ball. He's got the speed boost, so he's definitely the ball carrier right now. He's also like an insane, insane goal scorer. So obvious why he has the ball. You can see Mateus is finally caught in that area where I'm just in his distance and I'm able to take him out. Patchy's able to get that kill. Then I'm just going to walk forward and we're going to be able to get an easy goal to tie the game one to one with about 10 seconds left. Now here we go. Now in the previous overtime, as I said, we had a draw before this. Patchy kind of messed up a shot, and he, I think he should have healed, and I think it costed us the game. So here we go. I'm pretty sure Korai lagged out at the start, uh, which is pretty unfortunate. You can see Patchy has the ball right now. At this point, I didn't know Patchy uh, wasn't in the VC, so I'm like telling Patchy, like, you can't just hold the ball. You need to do something. So he's going to put it in the corner a little bit too late. He misses a shot on Korai, and as soon as he missed a shot, like that was just the end. I tried to get the ball to super it forward. 
I got 2k'd by Matt, so I wasn't able to do it, and that's going to be a GG to them. So it's really unfortunate because Patchy is super, super good at Brawl Ball. I don't know what's happening these couple these past couple weeks with him, but he hasn't been performing competitively in Brawl Ball as much as I want him to, so GG's to that. 2-1 um, right now for Nova. Let's hop into that fourth game, which I'm pretty sure is Siege, and let's just see what happens. So here we go, we're going to be playing Siege, and the reason we went with this comp is because Jackson and Sane Barley... Um, the Brock is super good here, and I'm pretty confident my Brock was number one last season, and Jigsaw. Jigsaw knows how to play Carl. So, they they put a counter comp basically on Jack. They weren't going to allow Jack to do anything. He's able to kill Mateus in the mid, but really good play by Shadow. Um, it's one thing to counter someone, and then it's another thing to counter them properly. Like, you can see Shadow's taking his time. Um, if I didn't come over, he would have gotten that power up. He, he's playing it correctly. So, you can see... Good job over there. You can see Jigsaw and Korai are doing whatever they're doing over there. Uh, Jigsaw kind of messed up by not getting the bolt over there. Korai is one shot over here. Um, I am able to get that super off on Matt, which allowed them, with the help of Chepo, obviously, to not be able to get that first Siege bot, which is really, really huge in this map. So you can see Shadow's doing a great job of just getting bolts and running back. He doesn't necessarily need to get kills as long as he's getting the bolts on his lane. He's doing what he's supposed to do. Matt has his penny mortar, which obviously is absolutely huge. Getting tapped by it, which is forcing me to move back, which is basically allowing Mateus to get that uh, power up. You can see Jigsaw is able to go and get Korai. I, I made a kind of a bad play right there. Like It's not very obvious to like, you guys, but I did get hit by Korai for absolutely no reason. Uh, in a moment where I should have been healing up, so that was a pretty bad play. It, where we were able to take out Shadow, and it's 5-5 to five right now, 6-5 six to five for them, 6-6. Six to six. And it's it's looking alright because Shadow is down. We do have the momentum, although I do feel like we haven't really had control of anything in the left lane. I feel like has been going to Nova. Uh, you can see Jigsaw and Korai kind of both wasting their supers. Um, I'm going to go down over there to Shadow. He is going to be one shot. He's going to be taken out by Chepo, and Chepo is also going to be able to take out Mateus. But he does pick up a bolt a second too late, and they're going to get the first all-important bot. Now what this means for us is we're going to have to have an insane defense and an insane second attack. So they're going to have two big pushes in comparison to our one. So it's going to be super, super tough for us to win, especially since we don't have a great defensive comp. Although we are doing really good on defense with what we have right now. Jack's doing really good. He's body blocking really well. I'm going to spawn. I'm going to body block. And they're only able to do 8%, which is huge for us. So right here you can see we're kind of trapped by Korai, uh, just moving around on that left side. I'm going to use my super, which is going to force him down. Ideally, I would have liked to get a couple hits there, but I wasn't able to do so. Mateus also coming into the lane, so they're basically not allowing me to move forward at all. I'm um, starting to tap Korai a little bit, but I do need a pinch from Jigsaw, and we do end up pinching. I was able to get the kill, obviously, with huge help from Jig. Uh, Shadow is one shot, so he's going to back off, and I'm able to pick up that bolt on the left. So although we did win this one... Really good job on their part by not letting us get like a 20 bot or something like that because that would have spelled a lot of trouble for them. And this is probably the biggest moment in the game. This is a really good comp for one pushing that we have and this map is really good for one pushing. So you, so you can see how much Shadow and Korai are just solely watching myself and Jack. Not letting myself and Jack move forward. Letting Mateus just deal with this bot. You can see Shadow starts to move back but... The point of the Brock is so you can break these walls over here, and I just wasn't able to do so. So you can see, uh, Jig is going to go down. Jack's going to be put to basically one shot. Uh, I'm beside Korai. I am able to get the kill, but I am super low. And it's basically whoever gets this next bot wins. I'm on this left side. I'm going to get a super over there, mostly to break walls. Would have loved to hit Matt a couple times. Uh, you can see Matt's playing decently defensive. Good ball over there by Shadow. Was able to hit me and Jig, and that's going to force me to be one shot to Korai, in which Korai is now able to go and pick up that bolt. The left, the right side, obviously, when it's open, it's very, very hard for Jack. And we do need that, that power up that Korai has. He's just going to super out, and that's going to lead to them getting the last bot. Now, this we do have a chance, to be fair. They don't have a great offensive comp, even though our defense is pretty bad with this comp. So if we do defend it, we are going to be able to win, but we do need to try and take someone out. So we were going for Matt. We weren't able to take Matt out, unfortunately. So at this point, I'm just like body blocking. Same thing with Chepo. We're just trying to body block as much as we can. I'm going to use my super on the upper right side. I was able to take out Shadow, and I almost got Mateus too. You can see good defense over there by Chepo. And we actually had some pretty good defense considering the size of their bot and that it was the last push. But unfortunately, it was just too much for us to stop. 
Um, it sucks. We're down 3-1 at this point. And although the team morale is kind of low, I'm kind of just like hyping everyone up. I'm like, listen, last week we were down 3 nothing to a team that's higher in the standings, to a team that was previously undefeated. So if we can do that, we can come back here. So we're going to hop into the next game and we're going to see if we're going to end up taking that L or if we're going to be able to catch up. So here we go, we're going to hop into crosscut. And this was really interesting because the mid that we usually go with Gene was banned and the mid that they usually go with Piper was banned. So we're going to resort to a Penny while they're going to be playing a Brock. Now, I'm, the, the, this map is just so weird. It's a new map. I've barely played it. And something really crucial about this map is about getting a lane one immediately. So you can see Mateus is trying to shoot Jack straight away. And now I'm just going at Shadow straight away. So you can see Korai is doing a decently good job on Feli. But me and Feli are able to get that pinch off. Mateus is already down. Chepo got a really good kill on him. And I just need a shot or two in order to get my turret. So I'm just going to get my turret. I'm going to place it up on uh, aggro against this wall because they're, they're just going to have to focus it. You're going to see Mateus is going to use a super on it. We're going to be able to take Mateus out. And at this point, it's 6 nothing. It's looking really good. We're going to get a pinch on Korai going over here. Feli shooting on the down low. If he goes up top, I'm going to get that kill. Uh, I did end up getting it. 8 to nothing. Now, we did consider going Brock mid. But at the end of the day, we just thought Penny was a more conventional mid. So obviously, Shadow did go invisible over there. So myself and Jeff and Jack are just super close to each other. We were able to take it out together. Korai is pretty low. Mateus is like half health. And at this point, I have my turret. And something that you can do really well with the turret is like right there, I just threw it up. And now, obviously, it's not a great place for your turret to go. But it just adds another layer. They're forced to shoot at it. And there is nothing that they could do. They just had to shoot at it, which caused them to waste their ammo, get low in health, and we were able to get the kill. We're, uh, we're as a team able to team wipe, and right now it is 10 to nothing right now. So we do know that Shadow does have a super, which is obviously a threat. I'm just going to go back, and something that I'm doing is just holding on to my turret. Because I want the turret near me for when I think Shadow is going to go on us. So I'm just right beside my turret, uh, but it's not even going to matter because Shadow is just going to take a little bit too long, and that's going to be the end. So it's going to be 3 to 2. You know, we're super pumped because we're going to Kaboom, which is one of our favorite maps, and then Brawl Ball, which is just our favorite mode. So we're super, super pumped. We think we can come back. Let's hop into the next game and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go. We're going to be playing on Kaboom. Now, the same type of comp, except instead of a Daryl, they're going to be going with a Bull. So I'm going to be going on that right side. I'm the Poco, and the Poco is a super important part because it's basically whoever can get those heals off properly will win the game. So I'm doing pretty good. I'm getting my shots off. Uh, Mateus is getting his shots off. You know, it's pretty even. I did get my super first, but he also got it. I'm walking around the bushes, you know, doing my thing. About to heal Feli. Uh, Feli is about to go in. And then Feli goes in. I'm about to help him. He does go a little bit too far. I'm over here to help Jack. And then, bam. I didn't even watch this part, but I just, I just go AFK. My Wi-Fi cuts. You can see a good heal over there by Matt. They just do a ton of damage. And now I'm back. Um... 37% done. It's it's already just looking like a goner. It's not happening. Um, I am so pissed off that my Wi-Fi cut because I just recently had it fixed and it, it was working so well. Everything was working fine. I really like the comp that we had in comparison to theirs. And then the Wi-Fi cuts. They get this huge lead and they're going to win the highest game in one minute. So GG's to them. The comeback was not meant to be and that's going to be it. So we're going to be handed our first loss in PBL this season. Um, obviously it sucks. I've actually had one loss every season, so I've been 9-1 and one in both other seasons. We're going to we're gonna be handed our first loss over here, but we're still going to remain first in the standings for the East. Um, so shout out to Nova, you know, they were able to get that dub. It's unfortunate that we couldn't play that game at the end where, uh, where I lagged down and just gave them the free win. But it was a really fun series. I enjoy the competitiveness with them, and it really shows you guys how... Even though my team might be seen as uh, doing better and we were the favorites, we had like 85% of the people pick us to beat them. The practice that Nova is doing and the unorganization that we have on our side right now is really showing that practice does help a lot and practice will beat skill if you really, really try. So definitely you guys stay practicing always. You know, Nova is a really good example of that. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry to let you guys down with the loss, but that, you know, stuff happens. You, you learn more from your losses than you do from your wins. So I'm happy that we do lose earlier in the season than in the finals or when it really matters in seeding or something like that. So that's going to be it. Like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And if you did it, let me know what you guys want to see. But that's going to be it. Shout out to Matt, Korai, and Shadow for the games. GG's to them. See you guys later. Peace.